Previously on Uwe Progress. We're going to learn how to read the ruler. Steps. Step one, you're going to have to understand the scale that you're using. And step two is going to require simple math. That is, how to reduce fractions. So the number between one and two, count how many marks and now. This video is going to talk about some power tools that you could go and purchase that you could use for a project that we got coming up that's going to incorporate, that project is going to incorporate everything we've learned thus far which I think you're gonna enjoy that way when we open that door we got a, a lot of projects in front of us that we're gonna be able to do successfully join we progress I'm rock 72 I'd like to thank you for joining me on Ooh we progress one of the first tools that you're really gonna need you don't have to get it but it would greatly benefit you is a circular saw but you're gonna need a circular saw to be able to cut the wood to the length that we need another power tool that is pretty inexpensive it just depends on the bells and whistles that you want is a jigsaw it provides a way to do intricate cuts and some cuts that the circular saw is not able to perform. This is a tool that we're going to utilize in the project that we got coming up. And last but not least, you're going to need a drill. There, there will be some holes that we will need to drill in our project coming up. This is a good deal. And now they make them to where they're chuckless. Chuckless is where they would have a key and you would screw into the front part to hold the drill bit down. You don't need that now. You, well you can buy it if that's what you want to do but what I would suggest is get a good quality drill corded or cordless the choice is yours but it will be needed in the project you're gonna need a tape measure okay and I hope you've been practicing on how to read it you need your combination square combination square is gonna help us when we start making repetitive marks and also for safety sake need you to get a good pair of safety goggles. This just protects your eyes from particles and other things like that. When you get the opportunity, if you get the opportunity, go ahead and purchase you some, some carpenter's pencils. These are designed to make marks. As far as lead quality goes and as far as their durability goes, they're flat. So you'll be able to make a line mark when you mark your workpiece. Thank you for joining me on this episode of Ooh We Progress, and I cannot wait to wait for us to get started. Then you too will be able to say beyond a shadow of a doubt, Ooh We Progress.